Hello, boys and girls. This is your old friend, RJ City. And today, I will be watching the trailer to 1991's Nothing But Trouble. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, probably it's for the best. Uh, this is an entirely Dan Aykroyd-y vehicle. He, like, wrote it with his brother and then also directed it. And then he's in it as, like, multiple characters. You've probably seen the cover. It has a lot of good people in it. Uh, but all of it seems to go wrong, so I want to see if that actually reads at all in the trailer. Uh, so without any further ado, let us watch the trailer to Nothing But Trouble. It's exciting. I like a good organ. Chevy is, is this is peak Maybe Chevy and Demi. Him. That's a good pairing. I like them. She's more attractive than Chevy him. Chase. He's in hey, still kind of dad mode, you that. know? Don't worry, I'll get you there. He's never the sexy more. signal guy like he was in oh, Fletch no, no. anymore. After enough vacation movies, it's Driver, over. Step outside the car, please. John, John Candy, Candy is a good cop, and he's been a cop like at least three times, and another one was with Chevy Chase. Not today, sir. Nah. Maybe Falcon but it is. I feel still like America. Demi is out of her elements here with all this, all these comedians. Some other way, perhaps. That's not the way things work you around. You bribe the cop. Oh yes, they're in Vulcanvania, this oh, weird made-up town. Well, they're very confused by it. Is now in order. The this is Dan Aykroyd. Alvin Can you believe this? Dan Aykroyd. Um, and they're obviously selling the cast. Nothing but trouble. I'm well, so sorry. Taylor Negron is in it. They don't list him, which is a shame. Like that. that would make me more interested. Would you? Welcome to the last uh, resort. Really going with really that organ, sister. Doing something different with your John hair? Candy is Eddie Murphying it with multiple roles. Where something's always cooking. And the joke. Is, oh God. Oh yeah, the sausage scene, and then also, uh, I'm sorry. There's a part of. Well, we'll talk about it. Good after. friends. Okay, let's eat. He really blew the budget on the set pieces. Yeah, that's hilarious. Let's put a train Where in the dinner. Always the digital underground. Fucking Tupac is in this movie. And Dear Lord, Tupac's greatest house role. Policy. What's house policy? But whatever man oh, no. Won't she eat? A very sexually forceful oh, woman played by John oh, Gandy. No, because she's bigger, so she can do what she wants. That's the joke was there. A little getaway. Oh, I've watched John Candy have sex with Chevy bride. Chase. No, no, not in front of all these people. Oh, not in front of the digital underground. You don't want to kiss the bride. Dear Lord. But trouble. Wow. That didn't really... Okay, so uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd, as we had previously discussed, in 1991, the same year, he did My Girl, which was a very big success, and it's just very uh, uh, well-received. This was not a critical or a commercial success. Uh, I think this is him riding the high of Ghost... See, Ghostbusters fucked people up because people loved it. And what happens is if people like one thing, there's like 20 million other shitty ideas that try to go in that direction. So this is Dan Aykroyd left to his own devices to be wacky. And he was the wacky one of the Ghostbusters group. So when it's just him steering the ship, we're in just like straight... Fucksville. This is just like a shit show. This makes no sense. The makeup is so crazy. It's disgusting to look at, and I, but not disgusting in a cinematically enjoyable way. It's truly disgusting. There is a scene. They're at the dinner table with that disgusting sausage, and and Dan Aykroyd puts the sausage in a bun and goes to eat it, and then there's for a split second, and we can if you've seen it, you've never forgotten it. Dan Aykroyd's nose classic 90s CGI, morphs into a penis and then goes back. No explanation. Nobody even calls it out. I think Chevy just does a little quick look uh, and that's it. Also, uh, I uncovered that Dan Aykroyd originally wanted to also play Chevy Chase's role. So could you imagine it would have been even more of Dan Aykroyd? If there's anything wackier than Dan Aykroyd as like a, a rickety old judge, it's Dan Aykroyd as, like, the slightly comedic, romantic lead straight man. That's not working at all. I think him doing My Girl also went to his head. Demi is okay. It's an odd Demi haircut. That thing I was not ready for. Uh, I guess it's post-G.I. Jane. Was she in G.I. Jane? Is that how that works? I, I'm, it's coming back to me now. Nevertheless, the digital underground, they play a full song in the movie, because this was also a very 90s thing where uh, every movie got their own rap song. And if they included them, I guess it just made more sense to justify it. I was, so I was looking this up. 
I found something else online. This is just a terrible quote, but I want to sh share it with you. During filming, uh, Chevy Chase was demeaning or verbally abrasive to members of the cast and crew, telling Demi Moore that her costume was too revealing and yelled at Aykroyd, saying that he had more worth than Aykroyd because Chase's paycheck was higher than Aykroyd's, despite Aykroyd being the director. This is perhaps the issue with this movie, is that the cast, as human beings, are far more interesting and weird and probably uh, had more charismatic arguments than all the shit they did in the movie. They're, they're great. They're funny. On paper, you put the wacky 90s quasi-horror comedy shit on top, it does not work. They have to be the way they are. I would love to see a, a nice brunch conversation between Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, Chevy Chase, Demi Moore, and Taylor Negron, who's probably, to be honest with you, the best actor and maybe even the funniest of the bunch. Also, not mentioned in this, is like um, th these fat, disgusting baby men at the end, which is like the ultimate, it's like the final boss of the movie, also played by Dan Aykroyd. So Aykroyd wanted to play three roles, which is a bold fucking move. This is a, a, an Aykroyd vanity project, and the answer is uh, no one appreciates the vanity of Dan Aykroyd. God bless. Guests of the RJ City Show, subscribe to his channel, follow him on social media, and buy his t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com slash RJ City.